Hello everybody, welcome to today's video and today I'm going to be reviewing this Maybelline Full Coverage Super Stay Foundation for you guys. I know, I know, many of you must have been thinking that why now. Now this foundation has been in US for like over one year now but this foundation was launched in India in November I believe, correct me if I'm wrong. So yeah, I thought of doing this video for you and I have been trying out this foundation on and off for the first 10 to 12 days. I tried it with my primer, without primer, with a setting spray, without a setting spray, with brush, with sponge and what not. So I think I am ready to give you a full in-depth review of this product right here. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the video and before starting, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'm waiting, please do that. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay, now if you have subscribed to my channel, then press the bell icon so that you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the video. First I'm going to talk about the packaging, then shades, then price and then I'm also going to share with you some video clips where I, I apply the foundation with different techniques and in different ways so that you can make a clear idea about this foundation. So first let's talk about the packaging. It comes in a glass bottle like this and it is pretty similar to their Fit Me foundation and it has a pump which I appreciate so much because their Fit Me foundation it doesn't have any pump and whenever I use that foundation it's just a hot mess. So I really appreciate uh, that it comes with a pump and yeah I'm super super impressed with the packaging. Now let's talk about the price. This retails for 750 rupees and you get 30 ml of product which I think pretty affordable. Now why I'm saying that, whenever a new product is launched in India, I have seen that the price goes up. I mean talk about the um, Milani foundation, it retails for 7 or 8 dollars in US and when Milani was launched in India, it was over 1000 rupees, that is pretty expensive. Now 78 dollars. If I convert it to Indian money, it, it, it is maximum 600 Indian rupees, but the price is, I mean, over 1000 rupees. That is pretty expensive. Now, let's talk about this foundation. It retails for 11 to 12 dollars in US. And if I try to convert that dollar in Indian money, it becomes like maximum 800 rupees. So I think that the price point is pretty reasonable you know so yeah i'm kind of impressed with the price point as well now let's talk about the shade they launched only nine shades in india which kind of sucks because india is a huge country and you can find a very deep skin tone to a very fair skin tone and you can find so many undertones like pink warm neutral and whatnot so i think maybelline nine shades are not really doing it and in us there are like 30 to 35 shades if i'm not mistaken so i think they should bring some more shades to india now i'm in the shade 220 natural beige now choosing a shade can be a little bit tricky you are supposed to choose the same shade as fit me Suppose you are using Fit Me in 128 and you should choose 128 in this range as well. Now if you haven't used their Fit Me foundation then this can be a tricky. Now I chose the shade 220 because I used to use Fit Me in 128 which is a bit lighter than my skin tone so I was confused between 310 and 220 and this is a bit lighter than my skin tone and I did not pick up 310 because I have heard that this foundation does oxidize so I picked it up and if you are my skin tone like I'm NC35 in MAC Studio Fix and I use 2.3 in pack HD liquid foundation so you can be 
sure that this is gonna be your shade. This foundation does oxidize. I mean, it's not immediate, but after applying it for about 10 to 12 minutes, it does oxidize, so be careful of that. So, yeah. Well, now let's see how, what the claims are. This foundation is supposed to be a full coverage foundation, is supposed to be oil-free and long-lasting, and it doesn't clog pores. We will see that. So now let's talk about my skin type. I have dry skin. Now my skin is not super duper dry right now, but, but like two weeks ago my skin was stretchy, dry and oh my god. But now my skin is dry but not like over dry, you know. So I'm going to share with you some video clips where I tried this foundation with primer and without primer, with setting spray like I said before. So let's see those video clips. So here I'm applying the foundation with my Real Techniques uh, foundation brush on one side and I'll be applying it uh, with a beauty sponge, Real Techniques beauty sponge on the other side of my face. And I haven't applied any primer or anything. I have applied only moisturizer and what I can see is that the foundation is b blending beautifully. I mean, it is full coverage you can see the difference on this side you can still see my acne spots and blemishes and on this side it is full coverage now i'm just applying the foundation with a damp beauty sponge and again the foundation is blending quite nicely i would say and yeah but i liked the brush side more than the sponge side I know it's um, a little odd but yeah I liked the brush side I mean the finish of the brush side was better and also I needed only one pump of foundation to cover my entire face and neck and this is again pretty full coverage. I started to layer up the foundation to see if it becomes uh, cakey or heavy or anything but I must say that it layered up pretty nicely but it felt a bit heavy on my skin. I won't say cakey but it was a bit heavy on my skin which I did not particularly like. Now I'm just applying the foundation to see uh, if I can use it as a concealer or not and I must say I was like speechless because it covered my dark circle like magic. Now with a translucent loose powder, I'm just setting my entire face. Though I was not feeling like setting my face with a powder, but I did. And yeah, this is how my face is looking after setting it with powder. And I wore this foundation for about 9 hours on that day. And... This is how my face is looking after applying bronzer, uh, blush and highlighter and, and I haven't applied any setting spray as well. So yeah, this is how my face is looking after 9 hours without primer and without setting spray. Ignore those marks on my nose because I wear spectacles all day. So those are obvious. So I could see that. Uh, the foundation was looking really nice. It it was not heavy. It was not cakey. It was not breaking apart. And there was a nice sheen. And on this side, on the sponge side, the foundation settled on my smile line. But it did not happen on the brush side, which is kind of weird. And other than that, my face was looking so nice. And I don't say that it's oily, but it was a shiny a bit shiny i would say i mean like a glow from within and i liked that and i must say that it was a pretty hectic day for me i ran some errand i i had to do so many household works even i had to go out to do some grocery shopping and this is how my face was looking now on the day two sorry day two i used this maybelline primer blur plus smooth primer all over on my face and neck because I wanted to see how it performs with primer and everything and again I used um, my Real Techniques brush and sponge 
and the foundation was blending like a dream it was so smooth and you know it was looking even pretty good and on this side i applied the foundation with a sponge again it was blending like a dream as you can see just tap 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 and you are done i also applied concealer to see how it is going to look on my face because you know after applying two products sometimes they just do not uh, mix up or layer up nicely but i must say my concealer was blending beautifully and it was looking pretty flawless then again i set everything with a translucent powder and i set my entire face with this l'oreal makeup setting spray and this is how makeup is looking after applying my bronzer my blush and my highlighter and i really loved the way how it turned out it was looking pretty nice and i must say i'm impressed with the coverage and everything and my blush my highlighter everything was popping so yeah they applied pretty nicely over the foundation and this is how my face uh is looking after like 11 hours yes i did wear this foundation for like 11 hours and this is how my face is looking right now and it is looking pretty flawless i'm so 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 impressed i mean look at that again i could see a little bit of glow i won't say it, it's not like oily but it was glowy and this is a better look this part i felt like the foundation uh was missing i mean it wore off but other than that it was pretty good now let's sum up the pros and the cons first of all the packaging the packaging is phenomenal and it's pretty convenient because it comes with a pump which is super duper impressive so yeah the packaging is awesome number two it's affordable it's for like 750 rupees and you are getting 30 minute product and the quality is super duper good so yeah i think the price is pretty much reasonable number three if you do not want to buy a separate concealer it's fine because you can use this foundation as your concealer as well because you saw how it covered my dark circles like a magic so yeah that is a great thing number four it's long lasting and i'm not even kidding because i wore this foundation without a primer without a setting spray and it lasted on my skin like nine hours which is insane so yeah it is long lasting number five this is full coverage if you are full coverage girl this is gonna be your best friend I mean with just one layer it covers up anything and everything so yeah it is a full coverage foundation number six this is transfer proof I mean if you wear this foundation and set it with a powder there is no chance of transferring this product so yeah this is a again great 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 thing it does not feel cakey or heavy or anything on your face it it becomes like your second skin if you wear like one layer number eight or nine i don't know but it does not emphasize your pores your texture or whatever it does not cling on my dry patches it does not make my dry skin even drier if that makes sense and this is a matte foundation and this foundation is going to be a great option for my oily skin people out there so yeah those are the pros now let's talk about the cons con number one is the shade range i mean this is a huge drawback nine shades i think they should come up with more shades so that is a huge con at least i believe so Number two, it does oxidize. I mean, after applying 10 to 15 minutes, it gets like one shade darker. So you have to be careful while picking up a shade for you. If you try to layer it up, uh, it can become a little heavy on your skin. And 
I don't know, it can become a cakey maybe, but for me it became a really heavy one, so you cannot really layer it up. This foundation can be a bit more dry for like super duper dry skinned people, but my skin is like dry, but not like dry dry right now. So yeah, that can be a con. If you are a fan of dewy finish or satin finish then sorry this is not for you because this is a matte foundation if you are not a full coverage person then there is a chance that you might not like this foundation because this is like bang on full coverage so yeah that can be a con so yeah that's it for this video and if you ask me then i will say you can grab this foundation this is a great 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 option and i am super duper impressed with this foundation if you can find your shade then obviously it is a great option so yeah that is it for today see you in my next video and also if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please do check that out so yeah, see you in my next video. Till then, bye and take care.